Hello everyone, I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. As you have seen in the title that in this video, I will show you 15 tips and tricks in Pokemon Unite to improve your gameplay. The tips and tricks will be not based on a specific Pokemon or a specific situation. It will be totally a random tips and tricks but very useful to improve your gameplay. So let me give you the highlight of this video. Number 1 tips and tricks for some Pokemon. Number 2 tips and tricks for some randomly held item. Number 3 tips and tricks for jungle and rotation number four i also don't know what name i should give to those tips and tricks anyways if you are new here make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can get more this type of unite content now without wasting any time let's begin the video Tips and tricks number one, and it is for health item called focus band. We all know that whenever your HP drops below 25%, the passive ability of focus band get activated. Then each second for three seconds, you will restore 12% of the HP that you had lost. The cooldown of this passive ability is one minute and 20 seconds. That is the reason why whenever you use focus band, do not let the passive ability of focus band get activated before the final stretch comes, because the passive ability of focus band is really useful in the final stretch. It will help you to sustain or survive in the crucial team fight. Even the professional player uses this trick in the tournament. They always try to save the passive ability of focus band for the final stretch, especially when they are playing support or any kind of defender. So always remember that whenever the time reaches 3 minute mark, do not let your HP drops below 25%. Tips and tricks number 2. Let your teammate take the damage first. This trick is pretty weird and selfish but very useful in the early game. When you are going for scoring in the enemy's goal zone, let your teammate take the damage first. So what happen is, when your teammates take the damage first, they will be little bit lower HP than you. So enemies will more likely to attack the Pokemon which has the lower HP. As you can see, I let the green ninja take the damage first so that I can easily score. Because the basic attack of melee attacker Pokemon will target only the person who has lower HP. This trick is really useful if you want to stack up faster in the early game. Whenever you use any stacking health item like attack weight, cookies, and special attack spec, you can use this weird trick to stack up faster. Or when you play any kind of defender or supporter, you can help your teammates by taking the first damage and let your teammates score. Tips and tricks number 3. Know the passive of Tyranitar. Some of you might know about this, but I believe that most of the player does not know how the passive ability of Tyranitar works. Well, let me explain it to you briefly so you can understand it properly. And the passive of Tyranitar deals true damage. A true damage is a damage which ignores all the defense of the opposing Pokemon. Let me show it to you. As you can see, right now Crusher has loads of shield, but the damage of the Tyranitar will totally ignore all those shield and attack only the remaining remaining HP of Crusher, and this is what called a true damage. Now you might be wondering what is tips and tricks about this, well let me show it to you. Only very few players in Pokemon Unite know about this. Because of the true damage, Tyranitar can stop the scoring even if you have Rayquaza shield. As you can see right now I have Rayquaza shield, and if I try to score Tyranitar can easily stop me. So always remember that if you are playing Tyranitar, you can easily stop the scoring of enemy even if they have Rayquaza shield. Likewise, if there is Tyranitar in the opposing Pokemon and if you have the Rayquaza shield, don't try to score in the goal zone where there is Tyranitar. Tips and tricks number 4. Gengar's Dream Eater. Now you might be wondering what could be tips and tricks about Gengar's Dream Eater. Well this trick about Gengar's Dream Eater is more likely to be a glitch in Pokemon Unite. In most of the time we just usually use Dream Eater to teleport behind the enemy. But did you guys know that you can use Dream Eater to teleport behind the wall as well. And if you didn't knew about this, now you will know. Let me show it to you how to do that. When you use Dream Eater to any object which is near to the wall, you can teleport behind the wall. Now you might be wondering what is the use of this glitch because you are teleporting away from the target. Well you can use this glitch to run away from the enemy or you can use this glitch to teleport in the enemy goal zone and score because sometimes there are situations when you cannot directly go in the enemy's goal zone. So you can use this trick to teleport in the enemy goal zone and score. When you are using this trick, make sure that enemies or any object are close enough to the wall, or else this trick won't work. But when the enemy or any object are close enough to the walls, you can use this trick. By the way, this trick does not work on this small bub. I also don't know why. I have tried it multiple times, but it does not work.
and make sure to utilize this trick in a very good way tips and tricks number five don't take the bump I now you might be thinking what do i mean by don't take the bump well some of the player might know about this but i believe that most of the player does not know in the early game don't take these two buff especially when you are using stacking health item like attack weight cookies and special attack spec and because of three more reasons number one if you have aoe ball which is equal to five or less than five there is hundred percent guarantee that you can score number two you will be able to reach in the enemy's goal zone little bit faster and start stacking number Number 3 if it is your lucky day you can also take the buffs of the enemy and keep on staking because staking is the most important thing in the early game if you are using staking health item. If you watch tournaments of pokemon unite you might have noticed that even the professional players uses this trick to stake up faster in the early game but when you are not using staking health item you can take those buffs if you want. Tips and tricks number 6 the trampoline in pokemon unite. Some of you might know about this but most of the player does not know that you can see whether the trampoline was being used or not even if you weren't near the trampoline. This trick is sometimes very useful to identify the location of the enemy. Let me show you an example. Here I was going in the top lane and I saw that trampoline was being used and I knew that it was being used by the enemy so I immediately used my shadow sneak to catch them. Now some of you might be saying that this is very small tips and tricks why the hell I put this on this video. Video. Well, no tips and tricks is small, it's just depend upon the players how he utilizes this kind of information in real battlefield. By the way, this trick is very useful in the final stretch because most of the player uses this trampoline in the final stretch to hide in this bush. So at least you will have some information where the enemies are and make sure to utilize this kind of information so you can have little bit of upper hand in the battlefield. Tips and tricks number 7, go to heaven. Just kidding guys, I used to hear this kind of saying a lot in my school days. I hope you didn't try to went into the heaven by hearing the tips and tricks number 7. Anyways, let's get back into the tips and tricks. Tips and tricks number 7, the Regiliki. Well, let me explain it to you what that guy said. As we all know that in every match, the Regiliki will spawn at 7 minute mark. And it takes 120 seconds to respawn Regiliki after being defeated. And in total, Regiliki get respawned for 3 times in a single match. Now, you might be wondering what is the tips and tricks about Regiliki. Well, the tips is always try to kill the final Regiliki of the match. Especially when the time almost reaches the final stretch. When the time is between 2 minute and 2 minute 40 seconds, the most important objective at that time is the Regiliki. What happen is when you take the Regiliki between the time 2 minute and 2 minute 40 second, you get a huge advantage in the final stretch because enemy has to either stop the Regiliki from entering the goal zone or come for the Raikwaja fight in the central area. And if they try to stop the Regiliki in the final stretch, you will have the advantage of taking the Raikwaja in the central area. But if they leave Regiliki and come for the Raikwaja fight in the central area, one of you can go in the goal zone where Regiliki has entered and score 100 goals so definitely you will have another advantage on there and while one of your teammates is going for the scoring don't melt the Raikwaja just try to defend it from the enemy because if your teammates manage to score you will definitely have goal lead so you just have to defend the Raikwaja tips and tricks number 8 you are fed wow that was such a horrible joke anyways tips and tricks number 8 you have a Okay, okay, sorry guys. Tips and tricks number 8, the sound effect of Dodrio. This trick is more likely to be a glitch in Pokemon Unite. It is so effective that you can literally counter the Dodrio user by using this trick. An enemy might think that you are using a map hack. Some of the player might know about this but most of the player does not know that. You can hear the sound effect of Dodrio even if you don't see him. Let me show you how does it works. I will increase the volume now. So try to notice it that you will be able to hear the sound effect of Dodrio even if the Dodrio is inside the bushes.
So in this way you can know whether the Dodrio is coming towards you or not or you can also identify whether the Dodrio is hiding inside the bush or not and remember one thing you won't be able to hear the sound effect of Dodrio if Dodrio does not have the boosted gauge attack and we all know that Dodrio has to constantly move in order to maintain the boosted gauge attack so try to use all this information to improve your gameplay and don't forget to turn off the background music in your setting so you can hear the sound effect much more clearly Tips and tricks number 9. Check the hidden bushes. Now you might be thinking that these tips and tricks is for checking the bushes. And yep, you are absolutely correct. By using these tips and tricks, you can easily check whether the enemy is hiding in the bush or not. Most of the player might know about this, but I believe that some of the player does not know. There are some Pokemon which can easily check the bush by using their moves. Like Mew, Greninja, Decidueye, Delpox and many more Pokemon. Let me show it to you. First, let's begin with the Mew. By using solar beam, you can check whether the enemies are hiding in the bush or not. When you use the solar beam in the bush and get this passive stake, know that enemies are hiding in the bush. Because you get those passive stake only if you hit any object. Next is for Sylveon. By using Hyper Voice, you can check whether the enemies are hiding in the bush or not. When you see this passive stake of Sylveon, just know that enemies are in the bush. Because you get this stake only if you hit any object while using Hyper Voice. Next Pokemon is Greninja. By using Water Shuriken, you can check the bushes. And if you recover any HP, just know that enemies are hiding in the bush. And even if your HP is full, still you will get the healing animation. Next Pokemon is Chandler. With overheat you can check the bushes and if you see this stake increasing just know that enemies are in the bush. Same goes for the overheat. You can check the bushes with overheat as well. Next Pokemon is the Sinres. By using the Pyro Ball you can check the bushes but you don't get any kind of stake or animation. You have to identify only with the sound effect. When you use Pyro Ball and hear double hit sound effect, it means that you have hit an enemy inside the bush. Now try to listen the sound effect carefully. When you hit any object you will hear double hit sound effect. But when you don't hit any object, you will hear only single hit sound effect. Now I will increase the volume, be ready. So this is how you can check boost with Pyro Ball. The next Pokemon is Gardevoir. It is the same case with Gardevoir like Sinres. You can identify only with the sound effect by using Psychic. You will get a sound effect of continuous hit. Be ready, I will increase the volume. And that is how you check boost with Psychic. The next Pokemon is Inteleon. By using the Snipe Sword, you can check the bushes. But you won't get any type of stake, animation, or sound effect. You can identify only with the screen shake. When you hit any object with Snipe Sword, your screen will shake for a while. So you must understand that whenever your screen shake for a little bit, your Snipe Sword has hit an enemy. The next Pokemon is Decidueye. Of course you can check bushes with the Shadow Snake, but you can also check bushes with the Spirit Cycle. When you hit the enemy with the Spirit Cycle, you will get a sound effect as well as an arrow mark. And that is how you check bushes with Spirit Cycle. The next Pokemon is Meridan. By using both Charge Beam and Thunder, you can easily check the bushes. When you hit any object with Charge Beam, you will get a stake on the Charge Beam. And by using thunder you can easily reveal the position of the enemy. Last but not least, it's Delpox. By using the fire spin you can easily reveal the position of the enemy. Tips and tricks number 10. The Unite move. This tip is one of the most important thing in Pokemon Unite. Most of the player might know about this but there are some player who does not know. Especially the newcomers. Don't use your Unite move when the time reaches 3 minute mark. Try to save your Unite move for the final stretch. Because if you don't have your Unite move in the final stretch, you are most likely to lose the Rayquaza fight. And if you lose the Rayquaza fight, there is very high chance that you will also lose the match. So use your Unite move better wisely. I am so sorry guys I will end the video here. I know that the video is titled as top 15 tips and tricks. I was genuinely trying to add 15 tips and tricks in this video. But if I add 5 more tips and tricks, the video will be way too long. So in the next part I will cover much more tips and tricks. By the way if this video was helpful for you, please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel.